Hello everyone, my name is Swan and today we're going to be making one of my favorite snacks, banana bread. So to start off, I'm going to show you all of my ingredients I have. We have four dry ingredients and four wet ingredients. So for our dry ingredients, we have two cups of flour, we have one cup of sugar, one teaspoon of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of salt. For our wet ingredients, we have one third a cup of butter, two eggs, four bananas, and we're going to get half a cup of warm water. Not too hot, not too cold, but just right. Now for your bananas, you usually want yellow more on the brownish side, but for today, I have green new bananas. Before we begin, I have a banana joke for you. Why did the banana go to the doctor? Because he wasn't peeling well. <laughs> so to start off, I'm going to mix together my wet ingredients. Make sure you wash your hands before you begin. I washed my hands before I started peeling my banana. So once your bananas are all cut up in your bowl, I'm going to put my eggs in. Don't worry if they break once they get in the bowl because we're going to mix it up anyway. So now I'm going to put in my butter. And lastly, I'm going to go get half a cup of warm water. Now I'm just going to stir up all my wet ingredients together. What do bananas wear on their feet? Slippers! <laughs> Because my bananas are green, they're not mashing all the way, but if you use yellow bananas or slightly brown bananas, they will be perfect for your banana bread. Now I'm going to start to mix my dry ingredients all together. I'm putting in my two cups of flour. Now I already pre-measured all of my ingredients but if you would like an adult to help you, you can use your measuring cups to measure out all of your ingredients. Now with my washed whisk, I'm just gonna mix all my dry ingredients together. Now that I've got both of my mixes ready, I'm going to mix them together. I'm pouring my dry ingredients into my wet ingredients. If you would like little bits of banana in your banana bread, which is what I personally like, you can leave the bits in there, but if you want them more mashed into your bread, you can mash them while you're mixing. Once our dough is all ready and mixed, I'm going to go ahead and grease up my pan. If you have Pam, you can spray it and do it that way, but what I've always done is I take some paper towel put some butter on it, and then I just wipe it all along the inside, getting into the corners so your bread doesn't stick when you try to take it out. Once your pan is all greased up, you can go ahead and very carefully pour your batter into the pan. And there we are. Now I know it may look tempting, but please do not eat the raw dough because it does have raw eggs in it. I have preheated our oven to 350 degrees before I started mixing my ingredients. So you can go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and very carefully put it into the oven. Please get an adult to help you with this. This is very hot. 
There we go. Now I'm going to set a timer for 45 minutes, then we're going to come back and check on our bread. Thank you guys so much for joining me today making some yummy banana bread. I'm sure yours are going to turn out great. See you later!